Jesus, okay. Uh, we know a lot of uh, Mewtwo Shuffle just because how LOF Blue uses them around here. And um, Jupiter is our resident Samus, so, I mean, we'll see how these guys fare in terms of those two. Like, we're just used to their kind of gameplay, so it'll, it'll be nice to see a little bit of a change-up gameplay here. Uh, all around, though, pretty even start, uh, just in terms of stock. Uh, Blue has a slight advantage just because of Mewtwo, but uh, Summer Haze is putting good work to try to correct that. Tony's going to work on Cool Guy, just keeping him right up in the air, not giving him a chance to land in the... Oh! Summer Haze pocketed that full charge charge shot, very nice. And, um, as I was saying before... And he pockets the... <laughs> He's just grabbing all the projectiles left and right, okay. He's not letting anybody get one of those off. And he threw one out right in front of Blindo's face, and he pays for it. Wow. All right. <laughs> Trying to get a word in. Um, it's good for Tony to be keeping this up in the air, because uh, all that dangerous PK fire can stuff out Samus, who uh, is actually a little bit of a fast baller. And uh, she can uh, get trapped by PK fire, grab, and then down throw, uh, forward air, forward air, all that junk, just like we are seeing right now. Uh, but it forces Summer Haze off to the side. Blue has primary control of the stage here. Blundo trying to throw out an up smash, but just misread that. Uh, Summer Haze using that uh, tree to give himself a little bit of a breather. Charge shot from Crossway, doesn't find any connection, and he does get back with the up B, even though he's pretty far out. I've seen Tony throw out a lot of up Bs on, uh, <coughs> right above or on stage, so. And a back air from Blazing Pasta will send out Blindo. And Summer Haze is trying to work on Tony right now. Tony looking for a spike. Not going to get it twice. Will get back because for Summer Haze to get the spike with Villager, it's very, it's a one in three shot because um, the animation plays out. Uh, you only get the spike when there's three turnips in Summer Haze's hand. Or not Summer Haze, in Villager's hand. So it's very circumstantial when you get that. And a, oh, an accidental sh uh, Shadow Ball will send his teammate Tony. Uh, on his last stock, and Summer Haze is the, uh, oh no, uh, both red team have two stock here. Right now, Blindo's having a little bit of pressure, he's at 75%, right now he's just getting bombarded by, uh, opponent and even team in the light. Summer Haze has a very low shield, so he's gotta play a little, uh, that was almost a broken, uh, uh, it looked like the broken animation, uh, over there on, the uh, Blazing Pasta. Tony going in with it, but an up, up air connection from Pasta won't take Blindo out just yet. He needs some time to recover. And right now, just this rush mentality that the red team is playing is working out for them in spades. It's even getting some accidental hits that are paying off in their favor. And yeah, just those setups where he uh, attacks one guy, but he doesn't notice that his teammate is sitting there waiting for him, and that just did Blindo in for his final stock. And now Tony is pressured off the top on this platform. Platform's gone, so he's gonna have to recover on stage now. And the setups, and there is the down smash from Blazing Pasta to cover so many options. Ness is great with that uh, down smash on ledge. And that will go, uh, that will be uh, one chalked up for the red team there. So, let's see, uh, what can blue team do? They were getting rushed down pretty heavily because like, they're smaller characters. Uh, just in terms of, you know, character model and everything like that. And just with playstyle, the red team was really, really rushing them down, like I said before. So, they just really need to be aware of what's being thrown out, and they need some of that coverage of their own. They need to, they need to be comfortable in their own, like, teammate shoes. They need to be able to say, okay, here's what I'm going to do, make, I, uh, you should back off, and, you know, you have to make sure that you can do that uh, either not speaking or just with a couple of words. And already, uh, 10 seconds in, Tony's already at 52 damage. He's halfway to back throw territory for Ness. And the string of up air sends him even closer. Chase down with the thunder, lands back on stage. Blindo will get back because Mewtwo's recovery is just so hard to track and it's just really good in general. Not the best, but it's still pretty good. And another just thrown out those up airs just to keep him on his toes. And one does connect and sends Tony out on his first stop. Blindo gets the down throw. Very nice combo from Blindo and Tony there. See, they're bunching themselves up in the corner right now, and the red team is just pressuring them on that corner, and it's they're just not prepared for it. They have to be able to change up that gameplay style. Uh, 
It's a little hard to do in game, so they should have talked about it beforehand. But another forward smash from uh, Blazing Pasta, and again with these forward uh, forward air strings, wasting no time going right on the uh, uh, blue team's uh, second player there. Oh, gets snuffed out. That, uh, I was that was probably accidental, but uh, yeah, the uh, Thunder connected with Tony instead of uh, going back to Blazing Pasta. So that works out in their favor. They just have to chalk down this villager, but uh, Summer Haze's villager is very, very walling out and uh, very spacey. Uh, but a Shadow Claw forward air, very nice from Blindo, will be able to snuff out his first stock. And a spike, and there it is, the three turn up spike from Summer Haze and Villager, able to take out Tony, and he is on his last stock. Very dangerous territory, especially again with this mob rush mentality that the red team is playing just keeping uh pressure on this blue team not giving them a second to breathe and it's just paying so many dividends for them right now tony with a full charge shot trying to keep pressure but summer haze pockets a rocket <laughs> pockets a rocket yeah. blindo sends out a up throw not going to do it just yet probably the next one uh very close okay but an up smash will definitely do it that time very nice uh, very nice awareness there from uh, Blindo. Just snaking through. Again, uh, Mewtwo should have no recovery snaking around the edge guarding of um, uh, Summer Haze. But Blazing Pasta is a different story. And especially with that back throw, outplayed, as Trevi would say. And bit of circumstances here. Uh, Blazing Pasta outing for the uh, Thunder chase down and gets the forward smash. Almost takes out Tony. He's going to be desperate to get back too, especially with that down smash coverage. Finds his way through though. And a forward air again almost sends out Tony. Going in deep, and he does snuff him out, but he's going to use the bomb to recover, and he does latch on. Very nice. But another back air will send uh, Tony out, and now the capture down. Oh, just with uh, with that combo. Tony is just... Yeah, that's left him open. Yeah, you don't want to go for up throw. You want to go for your fastest throw when you're on a 2v1 situation here. Tries to get the grab, but he rolled right past in the back throw. Again, outplayed. And that'll be a 2-0 for Summer Haze and Blazing Pasta. They will be advancing on to winner's quarters finals already. And we will uh, hopefully see Tony and Blindo keep it going in the loser's bracket.